Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really special video and it actually came, well the idea for the video came from my mom. Um, she told me I should do a video using nothing but cruelty free makeup products. Um, now in case you don't know, there are some brands that are not cruelty free. Um, a lot of brands actually. Brands I didn't even think like um, Revlon I don't think is cruelty free which I assumed would be um, what else isn't cruelty free? I was looking up online. Okay, so I used this. I think it's a blog. Um, the blog is called Cruelty Free Kitty. And it's updated. Uh, this one is Best Products of 2017 that are Ultimate Guide to Cruelty Free and Vegan Makeup Brands. And there are a lot of makeup brands that are cruelty free now, thank goodness. And I'm happy to realize that a majority of my makeup is cruelty free. Kat Von D, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, let's see here. Urban Decay. Here's, I'm gonna name some of the big ones. Too Faced, Milk Makeup, let's see, Milani, Charlotte Tilbury, Marc Jacobs, Physicians Formula, Sonia Kashuk. Oh, I did not know that. Um, makeup Geek, ColourPop, Wet n Wild, NYX, Becca, Tarte, um, BH Cosmetics, Pure Cosmetics, The Bomb, Pacifica, Sugar Pill, oh, Trend Mood. Gotta keep up myself updated, girl. Um, Colored Rain, Girlactic. The list goes on and on and on. There's so many makeup brands. Some that I've never even heard of too, which I should look into. Um, both drugstore and high-end that offer cruelty-free products. So that's great. So today's video is going to be a full face. So I did brows and everything on camera using nothing but cruelty free products and I did not have to go buy anything I had like I said a majority of my makeup is cruelty free I do have some things on there like MAC I don't own too many MAC products um, I really wish they would be cruelty free because then maybe I would own more but the things that I do have um, I promised my sister once they run out I won't repurchase so there's that so that's why I don't have fix plus anymore um, once my give me some bronzer dies I probably won't repurchase it which is sad but I mean what can you do so if you want to see how I created this look here full face then just keep watching Okay, so funny story here. I accidentally deleted the first part of this video, which was me putting on the base and starting my brows. I don't even know how I did this. So let me just tell you guys real quick what I did for the base. Um, I primed using my favorite e.l.f. primer, the uh, poreless primer, which is the pink one. This is my favorite drugstore primer, and it's only $3.00. For foundation, I mixed a high-end and a drugstore. I mixed the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And then for concealer, I used my Tarte Shape Tape. To set it, I used my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. And then for the brows, I used my current favorite brow product, which is my e.l.f. little brow pomade. I think it's like $3.00. And then also to clean up the brows, I use the Tarte Shape Tape again. And then finally for the setting of the brow or the brow gel, I use the Essence Clear Brow Gel. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's continue on. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm finishing up my other brow. Look what a difference this little $3 product makes. Like, I can't get over it. Also, my brows are a hot mess right now. I haven't got them done. I don't even know how long. I want to wait until... Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm going to wait until I go to BeautyCon next month, and I'll get them done right before that so it'll be fresh. So I could be looking fresh. By the way, the brush I'm using to do my brows is always the same. I have like five of them. The um, Morphe one. The, the Elite Collection one. It has the little spoolie on the end of it. So we're just going to go ahead and speed through this brow here. My right brow is definitely my problem brow. I have such a hard time filling it in. Um, it just doesn't want to grow right. Doesn't want to act right. It's just... It's on the right, but it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so like I said before, the concealer I used to clean up the brows and also for my under eyes today was the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Honey Almond. Um, I feel like the Shape Tape is actually lasting me a long time. This 
bottle around because I learned that less is more. And this little Essence Clear Brow Gel, it drives me crazy because it starts getting so dirty looking in the bottle, but you know, whatever, $3. So then I'm cleaning up that under eye there with the Banana Powder by Ulta. This is the Ulta brand and I actually really like it. All I'm doing is pressing in the banana powder before wiping away the excess RCMA no color powder. I like doing this. I feel like it really brightens up my eye where as opposed to not using any banana powder. And then for contour today, I'm using the um, matte bronzer by again, the Ulta brand, which is cruelty free, which I was happy to find out and very affordable. I'm using my little my little benefit brush here to contour just the uh, sides of my cheek around my chin jawline and I'll actually switch to a tiny little angled brush to contour out my nose like so yes I love this little brush I need to go get a backup I haven't got any new morphe brushes in a while I really need to make a trip Ooh, girl I was acting a fool that day okay so after I get everything all chiseled out, I'm going to bake. So there's my nice powder beard. Again, using the RCMA No Color Powder just to clean up that contour a little bit. Um, I haven't been letting this sit very long like I did before. My skin has been so weird lately, so I do dust it off pretty fast there. And I, I still think it makes a difference though, so just food for thought there. And then to warm up the face, I'm using my little duo by ColourPop with the Alexis Wren. I love this thing. I cannot get away from it. If you see me Monday through Friday, probably Saturday, Sunday too, this is what I'm wearing. So I have the bronzer all over my face. Woo! Yes, girl. Um, just warming up. And I just love the way it looks. I think it's perfect for my skin tone. I hope they don't discontinue this shade or they sell something similar to it because this will probably replace my mac give me sun anyway moving on to the other color pop duo that i got for my birthday i'm using that beautiful beautiful peach blush look at that blush it's so natural so pretty not too pink um i love it i feel like you can go overboard with it without making it look like you went overboard i'm obsessed with it i cannot stop using it I still run over with that big Real Techniques fluffy brush though, just to make sure everything blends nice and neat. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go back into the ColourPop and Alexis Wren and use the gold highlighter in there. And on my Morphe brush here, I'm going to just highlight that little C shape um, on my cheekbones and around my eyebrow there. I'll also do my Cupid's bow and I've started doing down the center of my nose. I've never done that before, but I actually been liking the way it looks during summer right now. And then going back, look at the magnet. My <laughs> tweezers got stuck. <laughs> going into the blush duo, I'm taking the highlight in there, which is more of a peachy highlight, which I really love. I've been combining these two nonstop lately and I'm obsessed. Dang, Pandora was playing those good jams, wasn't it? And then for um, setting spray, I'm using my Pixie spray. I'm running out of it. Um, my Target can't seem to keep it in stock out here in Vegas. I don't know what's going on. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be priming using the Urban Decay uh, um, Original Primer Potion. Yes, look at it. This is my favorite primer potion. I have so many and I always come back to this one. Look how red my eyelid is right here. I don't know what's going on with my eyelids lately, but they're so red. That left one in particular has little bumps on it. No, wait, my right one? No, left one. I don't know. Um, either way, I don't know what's going on. And then I just set that primer with the e.l.f. pressed powder. Yes, setting. And then I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I love this palette. Adorable. It smells amazing. I'm going into that first color here, Puree. And I'm, that's going to be my transition shade with my Morphe M504. Duh. So just blending that out. I love this color. It's such a pretty transition shade. It's a little dark, but I still like the way it looks. And I love the way that it warms up pretty much any eye look. I haven't used this palette in a while. I actually hardly ever dip into it, but I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good. And the colors actually blend out really nice. Some of the sparkly shades are a little hard to work with, but we'll just not use those. 
Okay, and after I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush and go into the color Summer Yum, which is honestly probably my favorite color in the entire palette. I don't know what it is about it. It's so warm and orangey and red and brown. And it's like if I was an eyeshadow, I would probably be, be Summer Yum. I, that sounds weird, whatever. But look how much it's changed the eye just by adding that color. I don't know what it is about this color. It, I'm obsessed. How many times do I say obsessed in this video? I don't even know. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be actually mixing Charmed, I'm sure, and Delectable. And I'm putting that in the outer corner with a smaller taper brush. Um, I was really feeling like the purpley tones today, so I really wanted to incorporate that in the look, and it actually ends up taking over the entire eye look, but I started off with just deeping out the corners, and then taking the color Peach Pit, which is probably my favorite sparkly shade in the palette, I'm going to uh, spray that with my Pixie Mist, and just put that all over the eyelid, not putting too much towards the end where I mix Charmed, I'm sure, and Delectable, though. Look at it. It's so pretty. It's so sparkly, but not like too in your face. Like I would wear this to work. I don't care. Yes. Yes. And then taking a very small blending brush, I'm going back into Summer Yum and just lightly blending out the edges, making sure that Peach Pit, Delectable, Charmed, I'm sure, making sure they all just blend in nice and neat. Nothing looks too like pieced together. I don't know what I was on that day. Ugh. And then I went back in with my M504 and just blended everything out again. Um, you, you, when you blend out, you do lose a degree of pigment. So you can always go back in with like that outer corner color and deepen it out again. Um, as you'll see here in a minute, I do go back into Peach Pit and I just kind of, or maybe you don't see it. Maybe I skipped it. But I do go back in with Peach Pit just to make it a little bit more shiny. I took white peach and I'm just brightening up the inner corner and also my brow bone here. <laughs> For eyelashes today, I'm going to be prepping the lashes with the Tarte's, Tarte? Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara? Yes, I totally blanked there for a second. But I'm just prepping them for my usuals. My lashes today are Coco Lashes um, in the style Goddess. I hardly ever wear these. I feel like I have to cut them so much that they lose their effect. But I feel like on other girls they look so much more dramatic. I don't know. I still like them though. And then to hide the lash band I'm just using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. My hand was steady on that day. Usually, ooh, it's a hot mess. I usually always mess it up. I don't know, but it worked that day, so good. And then going back into Delectable and Charmed, I'm sure, I'm just lining that lower lash line. And then I'll get a fluffy brush after I'm done there. Um, I'm picking up Puree and Summer Yum and just going to blend out the bottom there. Yes. Look at my hair. It looks so much thicker than it actually is in real life. Although I think it is getting healthier. All the haircuts I've been getting lately have really, I've, I've noticed a difference. Or maybe I'm lying to myself. Maybe it's just the cat ears. I don't know. And then <laughs> ah, I'll put that Tarte mascara on the lower lashes as well. And then after I'm done with that, I wanted to make the inner corner pop a little bit more. So I actually, well, dang, I'm putting on mascara for 500 years here. Look at this. Look at this. Mm, okay, now, like I was saying, I'm going into the shade Just Peachy, which is a pinky shade. I thought it was going to be brighter than it actually was, which, you know, maybe is a good thing. But I actually do like a bright, you know, in your face, inner corner. Um, sometimes I get a little bit overboard. I love a yellow inner corner. I've done that many times. But, you know, this did the job for me, so that's okay. Mm hmm. Yes, girl. Okay, so then I had to go fix that hair. Um, I didn't put the lip on camera, but I am using ColourPop's um, collab with I Love Sahrahi. And it's the 951, the Ultra Satin Lip. It's the first time I ever wore it, and I actually really, really liked it. So, yeah. 
Okay guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this full face using nothing but cruelty free products. Um, if this is something that you're interested in trying to do, like switch out your makeup for nothing but cruelty free, I hope you I hope I gave you um, an idea of what brands are. It really impressed me how many high-end brands are and also how many drugstore brands are and it also shocked me which brands weren't cruelty free. I just assumed like brands like Revlon, Rimmel were going to be and it turns out they're not so you know, fun fact. But yeah, either way, I really love how this look came out. My eyes are really red right now. I don't know why. I think I stabbed myself with the Q-tip, but ignore that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hold up.